what up youtube it's chris moreno back with another video again thank you everybody so far for watching my previous two videos my goal is to make this a weekly thing every tuesday if not thursday i plan on having one video up for you guys right yeah in the past i used to post my workout routines and i will do that here in the future but the thing is everybody's doing that right anybody can look at anybody else's routine and just copy it but you're not learning shit from that all you're doing is learning how to train like how that person is training as of right now and you don't even know if one they have the same exact goals as you and two if that's even optimal for you so my purpose with these videos is to teach something one thing it could be one small adjustment to what you're doing with your training or your nutrition or how you perceive your training or nutrition right if i can at least teach one thing dude that is a win that is a goal of mine with each and every one of these videos so again thanks for those that watch it i'm going to keep them coming um drop below in the comment section if you have anything in particular that you want to address right and if I don't have the answer to that, I'm going to find that answer for you and then I'll bring it to you. Because at the end of the day, I don't know everything. And not only that, I just wanna make sure that I'm for sure helping. I aim to be the best source possible, right? And the only way to do that is to make sure that I'm helping you guys out. So the thing I wanna talk about today is full body tension, right? When it comes to executing any lift, you need to make sure that you have full body tension, regardless of what it is that you're doing. It could be a barbell hip thrust, bench press, some curls, some deadlifts, some squats, for sure those heavy ass movements, right? But pretty much in every single movement, this will benefit you, including machine work, right? There's no exception to this. And one thing that you can do to help you practice full body tension is something known as overcoming isometrics, right? So you're basically trying to overcome an immovable object or immovable space, I should say, you know, with your rate in a given particular range of motion or a part in the range of motion, right? So I'm going to demonstrate that today with the deadlift. And again, this applies to all movements. So real quick, let me get set right here. Do, 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 do. right and when it comes to the weight that you're using it if you had to put a percentage on it it's probably like 20 to 40 percent of your 100 max it's not meant to be heavy at all but we don't want just the bar right because just the bar even if you do it with shit four you're not going to feel anything so you want to do just enough to where you can feel yourself engage the proper cues engage yourself you know in moving perfect form, right? So, just how like we normally set up in a sumo deadlift, once you're set and you begin the movement, your goal is to drive through this immovable space, right? Immovable, right? So using a set of racks in your power rack is going to do just that. So, as hard as you can, typically doing two to maybe four sets of five to 10 second isometric holds, right, where you're driving through this, right, is more than enough. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to fatigue yourself if you are, or fatigue yourself too much if you are doing this as part of your warm up, just like I am, right? So, what that's going to do is force you to engage everything from your feet to making sure that your hips or moving the way that they're supposed to and stabilizing the way that you're supposed to. Your midline is stabilizing the way that it's supposed to. Basically, everything is working the way that it's supposed to. So pretty much that's going to give you a check on whether or not you're doing things the best way for you. And if shit feels off or if you feel snapped up, don't blame the movement. All that is is revealed where it is that you need work. So give this a try. Let me know how it is that it works for you. And yeah, guys, I'm going to smash these sumo deadlifts now. I'll see you on the next video. Till then, keep making gains. 
not just in fitness, but in every aspect of life. All right, let's kill it, guys. Talk to y'all soon. Take care. Bye.